Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. For those of you who are watching this channel for the first time, we are creating a blogger theme from scratch in this uh, tutorial series. And we have first designed it using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and now we are converting it to a blogger theme. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create the blog widget and customize the structure according to our design. Now in this video, we'll make the CSS work so that the theme looks just like our design. So let's get started. We have already copied the CSS for the blog section to our theme code but we haven't changed the selectors so we have to update the CSS selectors according to the blogger classes. So let's do that. So here we can see all the CSS is already being copied but we have to update the selectors. We had this division with the class of blog post card in our HTML so this is the division. Now we need to figure out what is the class of the division inside the blogger template. So let's right click over here and inspect. And if you take a look at the structure, we can see that we have this division with the class of post outer. So we have three divisions for three of the posts. So let's change blog post card with post outer. So we'll just delete this and here we'll type post outer. And I'll just copy this and paste it wherever we have blog post card. Alright, now let's save this and see how it looks. Let's refresh the page. And we can see we have a lot of improvements in our design. And the label CSS is not working, so let's go back. And uh, let's see, so here we have two dots. That was a typo, so let's save this. Alright, now the labels are working alright. Alright, now the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll remove the underlines from these headings and we'll change the color to black. So let's go back and uh, here we'll type post outer S3 A because in the S3 we have an anchor tag. So let's remove the underline. So we'll type text decoration and we'll set it to none and the color of the text will set to black. And uh, I think we had already disabled the author information. I don't know why it is being displayed over here again. Let's go back and let's go to the widget settings. I think we had set the author profile to false. We have to set the show author to false. So let's change it and save. All right, now it is not being displayed. Now we have to add some CSS to this date as well. So if we go to our design, we can see we have this black background and we have some margin. So let's see what is the selector of this date. So right click over here and inspect. So you have this division with the class of post footer line one inside the division with the class of post footer. So let's go back to the CSS. So the CSS for that is inside this selector post meta. So let's remove this and we'll type post footer and post footer line one and uh, let's save it and we'll also change the color of the anchor tag we'll change it to white and we'll also remove the underline and uh, let's save it and we have some dotted underlines as well so let's inspect it and inside the anchor tag, we also have an ABBR tag. So let's target that as well and we'll remove the underline. So I'll just copy this selector. And uh, here we'll type ABBR and text decoration to none. Alright, that fixes all the styles. Now we have this edit button over here, but it won't be visible to the other users. It will only be visible when you are logged into your blogger account. Now let's add the read more button to our posts. So here we can see in our design we have this read more button. So it is just after the last paragraph of our post. So let's go to our code. And first of all let's copy and paste the CSS. So let's go to style.css and uh, 
if we scroll down this is the CSS for the read more button so let's copy this and paste it over here now let's go to the code for the blog post right, so this is the includable and uh, this is the thumbnail image then we have this post title and uh, if we scroll down here we have the data post body so all the content in our body will be shown right here so just after the post body we will add our read more button so let's go to the HTML and uh, let's see how it is structured so we have a division with read more container and in that we have an anchor tag so let's copy this and paste it over here and we'll also add an if condition so this read more button should only be visible on an index page so it should be visible on the home page and also the search page so here we'll type b if cond equals data colon blog dot page type equals index and we'll close the if condition after the division now here for the anchor tag we have to set the href to the link of the post so for that we have to use an expression because this data will change depending on the post so here we'll type expr and uh, here we will type data colon post dot url and uh, let's go to the css now this is the css for the read more button so here you have to make sure that the read more button will only be visible on the home page and uh, the search page so we can make use of the body classes that we had created in one of the previous videos so here we will type body dot home page and uh, i'll just copy this and uh, here i will just type body dot search view this is the class that we had given for the search page so we'll just do the same over here as well here we'll change it to search view and the same thing over here as well so let's save this and see whether it works and we can see that the read more button is being shown over here and uh, everywhere we have the read more button let's open a search so we'll just search for something we'll just type learn and we can see in the search result also we have the read more button and if you go to any of the post here we don't have the read more button now the next thing we'll do is we'll just remove this uh, subscribe to post atom from here so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's see what is the class name so here we have a division with the class of blog feeds now we can just go ahead and set the display to none so that it won't be displayed over here so let's go back to the theme code and uh, in the CSS we have some elements hidden so we'll just add this selector over there as well so here we can see the hidden items and all these items are hidden so let's add the blog feeds as well and uh, let's save it and let's see whether it is hidden and now we can see that the blog feeds is not being displayed all right now the last thing we'll do is uh, we will add some styling to this link so here we can see we have a link to the home page now if you go to one of these posts we can see we have two links over here we have the home page link and also the link of the newer post and if you go to our blogger dashboard and let's go to settings and uh, if we scroll down we'll have an option over here which is called maximum posts to be shown on the main page so right now it is set to 7 I'll just set it to 2 and show you how it looks and let's save it because we have three posts and uh, now if we refresh our page we can see the first post is being displayed over here then we have the second post and then we have this home link and also the link of the older posts so let's click on that and we can see the older post is being displayed over here and now we have the link of the home page and also the newer posts so this is how these links work let me just change the setting back to 7 we did not create this section in our design so we have to style everything here itself so let's right click over here and click on inspect so here in the inspector we can see that we have a division with the class of blog pager 
and uh, in that we have an anchor tag so let's add the CSS based on these selectors let's go back to the code and uh, we'll go to the CSS of our block section so this is where the block section ends now let's add the selector right here so here we will type blog pager and we'll give it a padding of 16 pixels and we'll also give it a box shadow of 0 pixels, 4 pixels, 13 pixels, negative 7 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. So let's save this and see how it looks. So here we can see we have the styles added to our uh, blog pager. Now let's also style the anchor tags. So we'll remove the underline from the anchor tag and whenever we hover over these we will have the underline. So here let's type blog pager a and we'll type text decoration to none and we'll set the color of the text to 051b96 and uh, let's see what is the font family right now so i have this uh, chrome extension called what font so you can just select that and hover over any of the items and you can find the font family so right now it says roboto so that's what we want all right so that's it with the anchor tags now let's style the hover of the anchor tag so we'll type blog pager a colon hover and we'll set the text decoration to underline and we'll just save it and let's see how it looks and we can see that we have the links over here when we hover over it we have the underline and we have the styling over here as well Let's click on the newer post and we have the newer post over here and we have the newer post, the home and the older post. So that's basically it with the blog section of our blogger theme. In the next video, I'll show you how to create the popular post section of our blogger template. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,